Hello. Welcome to this video. I'm going to be talking about in choose K. This is a way of choosing a subset of things. So let's just do it. I'm going to do it three ways. I'm going to do it recursively and use using factorial and I'm going to do the multiplicative algorithm. So let's start with recursive. Um, <clears throat> basically, these are just going to count the number of ways. They're not actually going to return the lists. Um, we'll do that in another video. Okay, so let's go for a little intuition. Uh, we're only picking zero things. There's only one way to do that, by picking zero. And if we're picking everything, there's also only one way to do that. So for both those cases, we return one. Otherwise, we're going to make two recursive calls. Um, in each recursive call, n will be decremented by one. And the difference here is that k is going to be left alone in one and k is going to be decremented in one. So this essentially means that you can either take something or leave it. You can either choose it or not choose it. So let's just do a little test. So, choosing zero out of zero things, there's only one way to do that. There's also only one way to do that. One way to do that. So let's see how many ways there are to pick one thing out of two things. Two. Two things out of two things. One. Zero things out of two things. One. So I'm going to go ahead and write a nice little uh, function to show you what these would look like. Actually, I'll do that later. Um, let me get the other two out of the way. So first of all, we need to define a factorial function for this next one. So let's just see if that works. Factorial of zero should be one. Factorial of one should be one. Factorial of two should be two. This should be six. Okay. So that works. Now I'm going to define this. As <clears throat> no, let me just write it here. In factorial over k factorial times in minus k factorial. So that's what we'll be computing here. So let's compare these two. Get the same answer there. We get the same answer there. And we get the same answer there. <clears throat> okay. 
This next one is, I think, the most efficient. And it's essentially a rearrangement of this, but with a little less work for the computer. So be kind of careful about how you put your parentheses here. I've tried this a few ways and they don't all work. Um, this one does. So those all equal 10, those all equal 10, those all equal 5, those all equal 1. Okay, so I'm convinced that these are all doing the same thing. Um, if you want to actually test this separately, uh, you can use this function. Time, just add that before these other command line arguments. It'll spit out these little results for you. <clears throat> um, this is probably not the best way to compare them, but if you had one in each function, you could run this a few times. Um, if not, you could just see import time. Do something like star equals time, time, and equals time, time, print, I think that will work. So this is just a quick way to time things. Um, I'm not going to do it fully here, but basically you want to have a start time, you want to call your algorithm, and you want to have an end time, and just subtract in from start. And I think the results are in seconds. Okay, so that is in choose K. Um, I wouldn't recommend using the recursive one for big numbers. Let's try something here. So, that took a little longer. This might not finish. So that's what I mean. <laughs> uh, for large n, actually, let's see if factorial finishes first. Okay, so factorial and multiplicative finished very quickly, and this recursive one is still working. So you just need the number of different ways you can choose k out of n. Uh, I recommend these two. If you need the actual list, like the combinations or permutations, you're going to want to use something kind of like this recursive algorithm, but that returns the actual list, not just the number of different ways. It'll return It'll enumerate all the different ways. And then if you actually need the number of different ways, you can just take the length of that enumerated list. Thank you very much.